Yes, yes, my friends. Yes, that is where I feel like the lone link, <laughs> the lone ranger, a little bit with the mask. Running around on my horse, sleeping wherever I end up. Which today was, I think, in Madeira. I don't even know. Denny's. I got in here at 2 o'clock last night. I had a burger and a milkshake, which just seemed like a good idea at the time, but is not, it was not, not a good idea, as evidenced by the taste in my mouth when I woke up. But anyway, but check this out. I should have made a video where I got these. This is one of the most incredible plants there is. Um, see those stripes? Those beautiful stripes? Okay, that's one of the great things about this particular clone of Yucca Rostrata. Yucca Rostrata. I'm gonna put some still images in this video. These are extremely hard plants to uh, get your hands on because the guy that sells them to me, sort of, he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't sell many to me because he's got a lot of people who want him. But um, anyway, he had a little slowdown during the coronavirus, so I was able to score some more. He hasn't sold them to me for two years. You can either leave the skirt hanging right there, or you can denude it, um, which is the proper term <laughs> terminology. Um, and show off the trunk, but they're really pretty with their skirt hanging on. I'll show you a picture of a video of one in my garden, show you what they look like. But uh, this is a plant, unlike unlike all these other plants, this is a plant unlike, it's, it's hard to make a video right when you wake up. <laughs> but I do it anyway. Um, this plant, out of all the plants that I know, is the one that requires the least amount of maintenance anywhere if you leave the skirt on it because if you leave the skirt on it you literally do nothing not a single thing to this plant the whole time you have it i've had mine for in the ground for i don't know 12 years and guess how much i've done to it right zero i put it in the ground i watered it once it's a little irrigation and it's fine even after these plants are established, you can probably plant this plant. It's such a desert drought adaptive plant in Northern California. You can plant this plant and it will actually uh, root in. You water it once, it'll root in enough to survive till the rains. And then it will, uh, it'll bridge the season. It'll get water, it'll root out some more during the rains. And then when the rains stop, it'll be so rooted in and it's so drought tolerant you probably never need to water it again. So that's what I mean but as far as low maintenance goes. You can plant this plant, water it once, and probably never do another thing to this plant. And it's so incredibly gorgeous. Um, so this particular one is a clone. It's the bluest form of this plant. It's also the um, largest head of uh, this plant anywhere in the market. And it also has that beautiful stripe that I showed you and wider blades and a denser head. Did I say that? It's really early. But that's the beauty of this thing. I'm gonna show you the one at my house. I'll show you some images. And the first image is them in a field front lit, basically the sun shining on them. And then here is a even more striking image of the plants when they're back lit, which really makes them glow. The plant name, and I'm sure you're wondering, because I haven't told you yet, is Yucca rostrata, and the specific variety clone is Blue Velvet. And it is such a beautiful thing. And so anyway, I'm really glad to have these. We got down to our last plant. I sold it to a guy just recently, and uh, 
I'm, I was begging for more, and he, so he sold me some more. And uh, look at this. This is our custom frame that we built. Uh, <laughs> this is all this wood that we had left over down at the San Diego nursery from forming our concrete soil bin. And I kept running over this wood, even though I'd stack it and restack it, and I'd run it over and unstack it with my wheels of my van. It's getting really irritated. So I really wanted to put it to use. And so I built this frame, this custom frame, so we didn't have to put the tarp on the uh, plants. And the only money I spent was this one big piece of plywood for my air dam in the front. That was 27 bucks. Everything else was free, as you can see. And we put the wood to good use, and we pretty much had nothing left over when we were done. And I'll be able to reuse this. So anyway, back on the road. Got to get back into the bay. I'm in Modesto. I need to pick up a concrete planter for a customer of mine at a precast place my buddy owns. If you want precast concrete planters, call me up. Or your big fish bowl. That's what I'm getting right now. And those are queen palms. They're pretty. They're common, but they're beautiful. All right, that's it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 <laughs> Did he send? My wife bought this thing and she swears it's all intelligent, but it's trying to escape the house. Looks like it's going back. You need to go back in the house. Okay. I don't need my garden swept. Here. This is where you're supposed to live. There. Stay in the house. But I did think that the, uh, I, did, I finally got home. Look. This is where I slept last night with all of my stuff and a whole bunch of plants that prickled me. Plants had ants. The ants were crawling all over me all night. <laughs> it's only four hours, 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. in Modesto, where I needed to pick up a planter for a customer. But I thought this was really exquisitely beautiful, that shadow pattern on my agave tenuata. But that's, we're not talking about that. We're going to finish the video with the uh, Yucca Rostrata, the world's most maintenance-free plant. And case in point, I'm into uh, low may. I'm really into no may. And uh, here's a great no-maintenance plant. So I planted this plant here. I watered it in. I'm not even really sure if it's within the irrigation pattern, as you can see. The lawn seems not to be at the moment. <laughs> this is what happens. I leave for two weeks and I work, work, work. And like the other people who live here, <laughs> they just ignore everything. <laughs> like we could have put a little sprinkler out here, find out what's wrong with the irrigation. But no, wait for dad to get home. He'll do it. Anyway, um, yeah, so look, I planted this like six, seven years ago. And here's the exquisite, beautiful coloration of the dense headed. Um, blue velvet yucca rostrata against the sky, against the tip one of tip two. Um, and as you can see, I've never trimmed it. So we sell these things. They look a little junky when you first get them. But if you never trim them, uh, eventually they make this really beautiful skirt as it goes up. But really gorgeous textural quality to it. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That could be like a, a wall hanger right there. Maybe even more sun. Like that. You like that? I like that. Anyway, so that's your Yucca Estrada. And uh, it's time for me to go back to the nursery. Unload a big semi-truck. And uh, work all day. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day. Get you guys some tropical plants. First, I got to clean out the van. And there you go. It, everything never really lasts that long. As soon as you walk away, the sun shifts and you lose the magic moment of beauty.